Hello guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to replace the crankshaft position sensor on the Dodge or Chrysler motor, which is the 2.4 4 cylinder. We got three codes. One of them is P0300 random misfire. The other one is P0315, which is related to the crankshaft position sensor. And the third one is P0335, which is the actual crankshaft position sensor. In order to replace the crankshaft position sensor on the Dodge Stratus or Chrysler Sebring, it is located, okay, that wire right here, beneath, it's underneath the starter right there and between the motor mount, the front motor mount. So what we need to do, we need to jack the car up and we will need to remove the bracket for the motor mount. So when you jack the car up, always safety first, put the jack there. Make sure you have a jack stand so the car doesn't fall on you. And now we will need to remove this bolt right here with a 15 millimeter socket. One right there. Okay, the one right there that's holding the, the motor mount, the center one, and this one. And also we need to remove these two right here. And you need to put the jack underneath the motor to make sure that it doesn't tilt one way or the other. And now when you remove those two little ones right there, again with the 15 millimeter socket, there is one more right there, it's pretty tight. But we'll need to remove that bracket so we can access the crankshaft position sensor. On some vehicles it's easy to access, on this one it will take you a couple minutes, it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. Okay, we're ready to pull it out. And as you can see the whole bracket should come out of there once we pull the center bolt out. The one right there. It's still holding a little bit. And once we remove it, we'll be able to access the crankshaft position sensor, which is located above that engine mount and right in underneath the starter. Okay, this is the crankshaft position sensor wire right here. So now that red safety thing, we need to pull it out so we can actually press on the clip and pull it out of there and this one is really stuck there okay let me show you that's how we pull it out and now we'll be able just to press the clip and pull it out it probably is stuck there because of mud and rust and okay right there and you just pull it out like that Oh, and now right here there is one bolt that we'll need to remove in order to pull the crankshaft position sensor out. And now with 8mm socket we need to remove that bolt and just take it off, completely off. Okay, we pull the bolt out and now we should be able to remove the crankshaft position sensor. Okay, from the top when you look it's right there so you might need to use a screwdriver to help it. Okay, right there. Okay, this is the sensor itself. Okay, this is the sensor itself and this is the number if you need it. Right there, the whole number. That's the 2.4 engine. So that's the thing that we need to replace. We just need to get a new one, put it on, put the little ball and put the engine mount the same way we took it apart. Thank you guys for watching us, if you have any questions let us know and don't forget to subscribe for about 5 new videos every week.